All right, what if exercise could really make you smarter? Hey guys, I'm Dr. Sean Baker. Today we're going to look at some of the ways in which exercise can help improve your brain. Stick around to the end, you'll see a second thing that can help your brain out as well. Okay, recent research published in the Journal of Brain Science has looked at the effects of high intensity interval training on executive functions or cognitive functions in college students. Now they made three groups. One did no exercise, one did high intensity exercise once a week, and a third did it twice per week. Can you guess which one showed the most improvement in brain function? That's right, the ones that did it twice a week or high intensity interval training twice a week showed the most improvement in executive cognitive function. Back in 2013, another research paper had been published in Comprehensive Physiology. Now, these research tried to understand why exercise seems to make people smarter. They concluded that exercise stimulated BDNF, or brain-derived neurotropic hormone, as well as insulin-like growth factor, and that exercise promotes cognitive health. The researchers also noted that modern people exercise very little and generally suggest that, well, it may kind of give us conditions that kind of make us stupid. <laughs> Another paper was published in eLife in 2016 entitled Exercise Promotes the Expression of Brain-Derived Neurotrophic Factor, again, BDNF, through the action of the ketone body beta-hydroxybutyrate. Now, these researchers identified how hydroxybutyrate in endogenous ketone stimulates the production of BDNF. Now, this is particularly interesting because we know another way of creating beta-hydroxybutyrate, and that's through diets like a carnivore diet or a ketogenic diet. A ketogenic diet will result clearly in the production of beta-hydroxybutyrate. Your body, heart, brain, muscles all you know do quite well with ketones for fuel. Now the effect of exercise on BDNF is actually pretty rapid. A 2022 study in the Journal of Sports Science looked at how rapidly BDNF was produced after exercise. They found that an immediate increase in BDNF levels occur when young adults are performing high intensity exercise. So pretty much right away. There are even more ways that this can happen. Uh, yes, there are. Uh, so mitochondria are the little cell organelles that you know kind of uh, provide, they're the powerhouse of the cell and make fuel for our brain's neurons. They found that exercise even stimulates your brain's mitochondria, providing a more stable supply, again, of energy. Now researchers considered that exercise might even help prevent Alzheimer's disease. They said exercise has emerged as a possible non-pharmacological strategy that's likely to contribute to a protective phenotype against Alzheimer's disease. And I bet you know something else that can boost your mitochondria. That's right, ketogenic diets like a carnivore diet. The journal Neurochemical Research published a study evaluating how ketogenic diets improve mitochondria and brain energetics. And they found that a ketogenic diet resulted in mitochondrial biogenesis. That means that more mitochondria and better mitochondria. So what do we see from these studies? Eat a nice fat ribeye workout is good for your brain. If you value a high functioning brain, you might want to watch this video here about how statins can promote dementia. Okay, I just want to thank you for watching the channel, subscribing. We'll see you again next time. Thank you guys for, for being subscribers. Take care, everybody.